Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this. So this particle text wheel animation is created in After Effects without using any third party plugin and it's very easy to create. So let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 FPS and duration you can set whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now first I'm going to create our text. So select the text tool and just click over here. And after that you can type whatever you want. I'm going to type Spider-Man and it's completely up to you. You can pick whatever font you want. I'm using this Gotham Ultra. Now let's align the text into the center. If you're not able to see the align panel, then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. Now let's make the anchor point in the center. So select the layer, hold down the control key and double click on this pan anchor tool. Now let's select this, press S and I'm going to just scale this up something like this. Now we're done with our text and let's start creating some texture. So I'm going to create another composition. So let's call this texture. In this one, we are going to set width to 1920 and height to something like 300. Just click on OK. Now we have this horizontal comp and in this we are going to first create a new solid. So right click solid and just click on OK. Now on this one we are going to apply an effect called fractal noise. So just search for it and drag it onto this. Now we are going to play around with a bunch of these settings. So first I am going to change the noise type to spline. And after that I am going to increase the contrast quite a bit something like this. And let's increase the complexity to all the way 20 something like this and let's go under the transform let's uncheck the uniform scaling and after that I'm going to just increase the width so I'm going to set this to something like 470 and after that we can decrease the height so that we have a pattern something like this and we can move it by using the offset property which is exactly what we are going to do so let's add a keyframe for offset and let's move the timeline indicator to somewhere around two seconds or two and a half seconds after that we are going to just simply move it to a very far distance so just simply move it to something like 4000 or 5000 just like that so if i play back here you can see we have this animation we can select this press u to see the keyframe and if you think that this is too slow then you can move it way further something like this so i think this is looking fine now we are going to animate the brightness of this so first we are going to add a keyframe and let's select this press u and in the beginning i'm going to lower down the brightness so that it's completely black so let's pick a value something around here negative 250 let's decrease the contrast a little bit so you can see that it's completely black now we can move this to the very end now we can increase the brightness so that it's completely white somewhere around here so you can see that we have this sort of animation and we can pick a couple of points in between so let's set this to negative 133 or 130 something like that so once you are happy with it we can go back to the main comp and we can drag our texture to this let's place the texture on top of our text and now we are going to change the track mat option to luma mat so if i play back here you can see that our text is visible something like this and if you're not able to see the luma mat option then you can just click over here and it will appear now we are going to add bunch of different things so first i think that this animation is looking very slow so we can increase the speed again let's go inside and i'm going to increase the turbulence quite a bit something like this and let's maybe move it more further so yeah, i think this is looking fine and we can probably move this keyframe a little bit closer. Just like that. So now if I go back. So there you can see we have the animation. Now let's go into the projects panel and I'm going to select the texture comb and let's press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And now I'm going to open this up. And over here we are going to change a couple of the properties. So in the beginning we want this to be at completely black. And at the end, I'm going to set this to black as well. So for that, just simply decrease this value. 
and in between somewhere around here we are going to set its value to let's say something like this so if i play back you can see that it starts from completely black and after that it goes back to the black and in between we can play around with the value to have little bit of these species play around with the contrast and now let's go back so i'm going to drag our texture again inside this comb and let's place it on top of everything after that i'm going to set this to add and you can see that we have this sort of look and on this one i'm going to apply tint so let's search for tint and let's drag it onto this and we can change the map white color to whatever color you want so for this example let's pick a really nice red color something like this so we have this sort of look and we have to tweak a couple of these parameters so first let's go to the texture 2 and over here i'm going to first let's increase the stretch amount so i'm going to just simply increase the scale something like this and now i'm going to make this even more faster so let's hold down the shift key and just move it something like this so now if i play back yeah i think this is looking fine so if i go back you can see we have this sort of animation which is looking nice and let's do the same thing over here as well first let's select this and i'm going to increase the stretch amount then let's select this press u and over here i'm going to increase the speed something like this so i think this is looking fine so we can do one more thing let's go inside the texture 2 and under the evolution option we can change the random seed so let's set this value to something like 40 and now you can see that we have a different value of it just like that and we can do one more thing let's go inside the texture 2 once again and hold on the alt key and click on the evolution stopwatch after that just type this expression time times 400 so that it will add more animation to this so if i go back and now let me just play it so there you go now you can see we have this animation so over here you can see that right now the animation looks very static so in order to add the shakiness we can simply add an null object just like that now let's select all of these layers and let's parent it to the null and on top of the null we can add a slider control just drag it onto this and let's select this and press ctrl d to duplicate it after that we can select the null let's move to the very beginning and let's press p for position hold on the alt key and let's add a expression just type wiggle and after that we are going to pick with the first parameter and after that just press comma and then just pick with the second parameter just like that so now we can control the wiggle using these sliders and let's quickly add the keyframes now you can select this press u to reveal the keyframes now let's set the first value to something like 60 and the second value to something like 8 now let's move to somewhere around one second and after that i'm going to change the lower value to something like 20 and let's move to somewhere around here and let's change the upper value to 300 so the upper value is basically defining the frequency and the lower value is defining the amplitude so this means that how many times you want the shake to happen and the lower value is defining that how much you want this to shake so we can set this to somewhere around here and at this point let's set this back to 8 and let's go to somewhere around here where we don't want any kind of shake let's set this to 0 and the top value to 0 as well so now if i play back here you can see we have added this really nice shake we can probably play around with the values so i think this is looking fine now let's add some glow to our red text so i'm going to select the texture and let's search for glow after that let's drag the glow on top of this and let's increase the glow a little bit something like this let's decrease the glow intensity now we can select the glow press ctrl d to duplicate it now we can increase the glow radius and let's increase the intensity as well again we can select this press ctrl d and on this one let's increase this quite a bit and let's just lower down the intensity to something like 0 
so there you go now you can see we have created this really nice glow now if you want to tweak the look of this then all you have to do is just go inside the textures and just play around with the brightness and contrast values to give it a different type of look something like this so now if i play back you can see we have this sort of look and you will notice that sometimes there are different kind of glitches over here so we can fix that by simply going inside the texture comp and at the end let's move it a couple of frames ahead after that just increase the brightness so that none of the area is black so you can see that the glitches have been fixed now we are pretty much done with this and let's add some particles to this so for that i'm going to create a new solid so right click new solid and let's just click on ok on this one we are going to search for cc particle world just drag it onto this and let's quickly go under the grid and i'm going to disable all of these we don't want to see these and let's play around with a couple of these values so first i'm going to go inside the producer and let's position it where we want the particles to come from so somewhere around here after that let's go to the physics and let's increase the velocity quite a bit the gravity we can set this to zero now let's go to this and change this to directional axis so you can see that all the particles are moving in a particular direction now you can play around with the extra value extra angle so that the particles are something like this and let's play around with the birth rate so let's set this to something like 0.1 for now so you can see that we have these type of particles and also let's increase the radius so let's increase the y radius so there you can see we have the particles coming out and we can play around with the particles itself so let's go inside the particles first i'm going to change the color to white for both of these after that we can increase the max opacity to something like 82 and rest of the things will remain same let's go back to this and we are going to play around with the birth rate in order to have the animation so let's select this add a keyframe so press u now we are going to pick a couple of the points so somewhere around here so in the beginning i'm going to just set the value to zero so that there are no particles and after that let's move like one or two frames so now i'm going to set this to point one now let's move a couple of frames and let's set this back to zero so you can see that we have added a little bit of particles but right now these are very slow so we can increase the velocity so let's set this to something like 20 so i think yeah this is too fast so let's lower down the speed also you can play around with the angle so let's set this to zero so yeah we have the particles and these are very fast so let me just quickly play around with the speed so yeah this is looking fine now we can pick some other place somewhere around here again we can add a keyframe let's move a couple of frames ahead after that let's set this to point 0.1 and let's move to a couple of frames ahead and again let's set this back to zero also the longevity we can set this to something like 0.3 so there you go now you can see we have the particles coming out let's pick some place around here again let's increase the value 0.2 or 0.3 maybe and let's go back and let's set this to zero so there you go now you can see we have added these really nice particles again if the speed is too much then you can lower down the speed and you can play around with the position now if you want the particles to move like little bit here and there then you can just play around with the extra let's set this to one and i'm going to just increase the angle a little bit something like this so now you can see that the particles are moving in other directions as well and let's play around with the speed and also i'm going to set this to something like 0.5 so all these values are experimental so now you can see we are getting more particles outside and let's increase the speed a lot because right now the background animation is happening way too fast again let's increase the speed let's set this to something like 20 so there you go now you can see the particles are coming at a really nice speed and let's set this to 0.5 now you can see that we have created this animation and we have added the particles as well now we can add glow to this so let's select this and just search for glow 
and let's drag it on top of this layer after that let's increase the glow intensity a little bit and let's select this press ctrl d to duplicate it let's increase this quite a bit and let's slow down this one so if i play back here you can see we have added our particles and we can really enhance the look of our text by adding some glitches to this so in order to do that what we can do is we can select the text and let's apply displacement map effect to this so just search for displacement map and let's drag it on to this and after that i'm going to just simply select the texture layer and let's change the vertical displacement to zero and now let's play around with the horizontal displacement so i can set this to something like 60. so now if i play back here you can see we have added the glitch to the text but in the beginning our text is not visible much for that what we can do is we can go inside this and let's increase the brightness over here to something like this so now if i go back and let's play this so you can see that our text is visible in the beginning and if you want then you can play around with the particles and if these are too much then again you can go inside and let's lower this down to 0.1 so there you go now you can see we have added this really nice glitch animation and at last you will notice that our text has shifted to the left side so in order to fix that let's duplicate this and let's disable the effect on top of this also let's set the luma mat of this to normal let's place it below so this will act as a reference layer select the top layer and we are going to just quickly align it so that it matches the layer which is below something like this now we can get rid of the layer below so there you go here you can see we have added our animation and this is how you can create these kind of text reveal animations and the best part is that if you want to change the text all you have to do is just simply double click on the text and after that you can type whatever you want and you can pick whatever color you want so let's pick a really nice blue color something like this so if i play back here you can see we have updated our text animation and this is how you can create these kind of looks now instead of text you can also use your logo for that all you have to do is just drag the logo and use it instead of this text layer and also just make sure the texture layer is like wide enough so that it will cover whole of your logo and rest of the steps will remain same so this is how you can create these kind of animations and if you enjoyed this tutorial then make sure to like and subscribe to my channel also the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one